How's it again, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for Episode 2 of The Last of Us Season 1. And uh, right off the bat, let me just say, <sighs> another magnificent episode. It, it really blew me away, and this show so far is absolutely blowing me away. And, yeah, I just, I, I feel the need to say that because this episode was fantastic. And I don't know if it was as good as the last episode. It, it might be better, I don't know at least on par with it for sure. I mean, it was just really good. Uh, right off the bat, we have the cold opening, which I'm glad they're sticking with the cold opening. I, I don't know if they'll continue doing that uh, throughout the rest of the season, but we'll see. But it was another, uh, I guess, flashback to 2003 uh, in Indonesia. And all of that was super interesting and uh, really, really just exciting stuff. And I'm glad, again, I'm glad they're doing the cold openings. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if that does continue throughout the rest of the season. Um, I don't know what other cold openings they could do or other flashbacks. But it does make sense because uh, they did mention Indonesia uh, in the last episode uh, towards the beginning. Where the, I guess, outbreak was kind of starting uh, when it was starting there. Uh, and yeah, it was just really interesting and uh, intense really just awesome stuff and um the environments in this episode have to mention that i mean i mentioned it in the last video but uh, in the last episode i guess my other review but this one really you get a much better look at the environments of boston and how it looks overgrown and everything oh my god God, it was amazing. I mean, it's really something special. Again, I'm so glad they have a, a decent budget for this show because it just looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. I mean, they go in that uh, hotel lobby, and uh, I think there was a hotel lobby, and there's like a pond with frogs and, and ducks and stuff, and it's just like, yo, know, the way nature kind of gets to take back the city is just amazing i mean that's a highlight from the video game of course and that's why it's just amazing to see it uh in live action now and it's just breathtaking i mean it really it felt so real i mean again and that's why i think the budget just really helps this show it really just made it immersive and just wow it felt very realistic it felt just incredible to see on screen I also like this episode because we got to see our first look of the clickers, and they're scary as hell, uh, just like the game. <sighs> My God, the noises, and that whole scene was just super intense when they're in the, in the museum. Um, wow, it was, it was great because, yeah, it was really, that was the, definitely the most, well, I'd say it's probably the most intense scene. The ending definitely rivals it a little bit, um, but... That was probably the most intense scene of the episode. Oh, wow, it was great. It was very scary. I was on the edge of my seat for sure. Very intense, very suspenseful, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I was really interested to see the clickers, of course, because they're so iconic. And um, man, really great stuff. The design uh, just looks great. It all looks great. And that's one thing about the show. Everything just looks magnificent. And then, of course, we get the end. Spoiler alert, big spoilers here. Um, Tess's death knew that was happening, obviously. Um, I, there was some, some speculation on whether or not it was happening this episode. I didn't know for sure if it was. A lot of people just kind of assumed. Um, I don't think there was like a leak or anything. I think people just assumed that Tess's death was going to happen this episode. And yeah, it happens towards the end of the episode. And it's incredible. I mean, I mean, it was just what a way to go out. Um, really, really good. And uh, she reveals she's infected and all that. Um, and it's just. It's definitely heartbreaking for sure, but, uh, I mean, you know, there's there's been more heartbreaking moments throughout throughout the rest of the series and stuff like that, but it's still definitely one of the most, uh, it's sad for sure, one of the saddest scenes in the in the series and um, in the game I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, I really liked how they did that, the moment where the, the one infected the zombie, uh, they don't really call them zombies, do they? Um, yeah, they, they, they don't, but the... Um, infected uh just whew, it was like the kiss of death wasn't it uh it was amazing <laughs> uh I, I thought it was very almost weirdly peaceful <laughs> the way that scene unfolded but then of course big explosion um as the uh lighter hits the uh oil uh, gas gasoline whatever it was and then it uh blows up the bombs that 
test put on the ground, and uh, it was just awesome. Blew up the museum. <sighs> Great way to end the episode. And now Joel and Ellie are on their own. And um, it was a, it was a great, another thing. That's what I liked about uh, the pacing of this show so far is just absolutely perfect. Because the way they ended last episode, they're out of the QZ, going into the city, and then now Joel and Ellie are on their own and um, kind of you know have to do their own thing now. And yeah, I I, um, I think it's a great way to end the episode, to be honest. And I really enjoyed that. But overall, this episode really great. Um, and again, in terms of whether or not I like it more than the last episode, I don't know for sure. It they're, They've both been amazing, though, and I'm sure most people agree. But of course, let me hear your thoughts on the episode down in the comments below, because I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Really good stuff. I mean, this is probably going to end up being one of the, if not the best, shows of the year. Uh, surprisingly enough. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.